Hi guys, Joseph here today. We're doing another Joseph car video and today I'll be showing you another one on the V70. And today I'll be showing you how to replace the engine oil and filter. So in this video we're going to be draining the oil and replacing the filter. So let's get down to the car right now. Right guys, we're down to the car to do our oil. So first, release the bonnet. Oh, I've already done it. I've released the bonnet. So, right. Let's open up the bonnet here, guys. Catch it in the centre. You just lift that and it comes up. Here's our engine. Before you start draining the oil, you want to undo this cap. There you go, just loosen that off and make the oil drain quicker. There you go. So now I'm going to pause and get the jacks in and I'll be back. Right guys, I've got the vehicle up on jack stands. That's good. It's got two jacks, giving it a firm shake. This isn't going anywhere. I've got it on jack stands to the front. Um, now, before we get the oil out, got to, and I'm using the same catch can, and also I'm going to be replacing the oil filter, so I do have a filter wrench here. Also, you are going to need a socket set, which I have here. So first, is I need to position myself under the car, so I'm going to pause until I'm under the car. Right guys, I'm directly under the car, near the sump plug. There's the oil cooler right there, we don't need to do that, and there's a filter right there. So right, I'm going to pause here and go and get the sockets in and I'm going to be back any second now. Right guys, I've got my size out. 18mm socket here. There's nowhere I can mount you under here. So tight it is. I'm going to have to align my drain pan here. So, so I'm going to pause here. When you pop this up, the oil's going to flow out like that, guys. It's going to flow out, and you've got to get it so it can land in your drain pan. So you've got to have it in line here. Oops. This is... Oops, I've got it in dough up here. I'm trying to find which way it goes here. It's not undoing here. What's a pull there? Right, guys, I thought it was an 18, but it's actually a 17. So, right, guys, I'm just going to have to pause here while I undo this string. Well, I'm just going to have to precision you guys, and then I'm going to continue. I'm going to pause here. Now, Phil. Right, guys. So you're gonna undo the sump bolt here. I'll run your bucket up. So this oil is gonna come out when you undo this bolt. This is really tight, by the way, guys. So what? What, Dad? Turn it. Turn it. Yeah. What am I doing instead of undoing? It's not even on budging here. There you go. This screen's gone off on this, is that normal? Yeah, it's normal. You can turn it on if you like. See, I've just got a is it drain play on pan and line. You take your socket off now and do it with your fingers. It's not even coming off here. Yeah. That's right, use the socket. No, I wouldn't do it at that angle if I were you. Why? Drop back a bit. What way? I'll drop back? Yeah. It, it, it will come on your end and run down your arm. So what way am I going to do it then? That's it. <laughs> Is the oil going to hit us all? No, it'll be alright. Will it hit the camera? It's fine. No, it won't hit the camera. What if it starts leaking on the cardboard at all? That's good, I'll lick it up. 
calcium rich no sagle is leaking out right go on it here you go it's all the oil <laughs> see you go a little bit of rack here where's the rack it's got to wipe me hand up <laughs> here's the old oil come out there uh. No, oh, it doesn't feel that nice, but it's okay. There it goes. <laughs> so I'm gonna pause it until this is drained. Feel me? Right, guys, we're gonna put the sun back in. And one important thing: make sure your socket is level on that 17 millimeter. It's fully on the bolt before you tighten up. You need to make sure you do put that in straight. If you don't put this in straight and you round that, you'll never ever get this off again. You need to get it finger tight. There you go. I've also got a bit on me. So we've got a bit of rag. Put a rag for that drips. So I'm gonna drive it. It's a good idea to stick cardboard on your car. Looks like I've done here. More or less say the oil's all drained out of this now. There you go. There you go. So right guys, success. I'm gonna just shut you off here because so I've done it now. We're gonna go and take the filter off, so I'm gonna pause here until we start that. There you go. So right guys, you've got to get the I need to get a catch can over the filter before you go further because oil is going to, more oil will come out when you undo this filter. So you're going to need this. I need to get it to grip this. I'm not getting anywhere here. Could you hold the camera on? I've, I've got a, I've got a bit of. Can you do the camera? Okay. Swing. Got a better angle than me here. When it's loose enough, you can get it. Just take it off your hand. You can just take it off your hand. It's not under and take your filter. Oil is going to come out when you do this. Just see, told you, oil will come out. See, there you go. See, what some more told you would come out. Just let all that come out. See, just like I said, the filter hasn't come off. Doing this one handed isn't so easy as doing it two handed. You do get oil on your hands. See, I'm gonna have to pause it. Right, guys, here's the filter. It's still stayed up here, so pull down on it, and there comes the filter. So I'm gonna pause here. Right, guys, I've just got the oil filter here, the new one. But first, you've got to do this first. If you're on this filter canister, you've got to use the O-ring. So, go pull the filter out of the box here and get the O-ring. Stick it there for a minute. Slide it back. Now, you need a screwdriver to take the old O-ring off here. Yeah? The O-ring. This is a Volvo Genuine. This, this is the canisters from Volvo, obviously. You never reuse you reuse a canister. It's what you take off the old canister. There's this O-ring, you want to replace this. Cause 
if you don't do this seal, guys, you'll have an oil leak. Just gonna throw the oil out the car. Don't do this seal. All right, guys, I'm just now to mount you guys, and I'm gonna continue. So I'm gonna pause here and mount you, and I'll be back any second now. So right, guys, you wanna get the filter off the, the O-ring. What I'm doing here, guys. I wanna get the O-ring off. I hope you can see, guys. You want to pull the ring off when you can. You pull it up, and off it comes. So now, remember what line it went in. Now, I'll get the new one, the new O ring, and just put it back. Put it back into the line. There you go. That's on. So now I'm going to pause and start with the filter. Right now. Right, guys, to fit it, make sure it seats well. So you want to just push up. It's not seeming to go in that way. Let's try the other way then. Not seem to see it up there. Is it up there? So now just turn the canister on there. Also, don't forget, poke the little O ring that you put on. I forgot to mention that. You only want to get his hand tight, you don't need to get his any tight. Turn as much as you can. There you go. That's on. Locks into position. What? You turn it then. You need to. You got to screw it right up till it gets down to the shoulders. It's a shoulder on it. How is that? Keep turning until you can't. I think you do it by hand. So then this one is a very tight one, so you can need to ratchet here. I don't. We can't see. I can't see the work that. I need to see to do this one. not quite seated properly. You tighten it up, Dad. Tighten it until it's snug. Where is That's it? what you do. Normally, with normal it, filters, it go you don't have to. You only have to get them hand tight. But this is a different style oil filter to what you're used to, guys. It's a different style. This is a cartridge type. The other yes. one's a canister. This is a cartridge type. The other one's a canister type. So I'm going to pause and we're going to go and fill this thing up with oil. I'm going to pause here. So right guys, we're at the top, it's ready to fill up, so you've just got to take your cap off here. There you go. That oil looks good. Looks good. There's a cap off. And I'm going to go and pause and go and get me oil right now. Right guys, I've got the engine off, so I'm trying to undo this. If we can undo this, let's undo it. So right guys, this is my oil. It takes 5W30 engine oil. This is it here. Big canister of it. Big oil drum. It's a 20 litre. 20 litres of oil here. So we've got a measuring jug. It goes up to a litre and the V70 takes 5.2, 5.5 litres. 
5.5. That's what the old V70 takes with a filter. Without a filter, it's 4.4 litres. Because we've done the filter, 5.5 to fill that oil up. And once the oil's in, we can safely start the engine. So I'm going to pause until we've managed to get this lid off. So I'm going to pause it. Right, guys, we're just filling this up with our 5W30. Just forgot to mention, guys, this does take fully synthetic. That's the oil this takes. Not synthetic, fully synthetic. That's what this takes. So we're using these measuring jugs to get the measurement in that. So that's a 5 litres. To be careful, I don't count it in that waves, guys. Here you go. That's the oil. I'm using this measuring jug to pour it into that little small 5 litre. Give me impossible to hold that big 20 litres to put it in. So right, I'm going to pause until we've filled this up. I'm going to be back any second now. Right guys, just something I forgot to mention with the sump plug underneath. I forgot to to, to tighten it snug, so I've kind of forgotten did it off camera guys there. Just, just you know what the socket is. You, you get it, what I'm saying here. You you get the ratchet onto the sump plug. I've you tightened it by hand. This way, I forgot to do. Yeah, I just rem thoroughly remembered. You have to do it, and you get on the ratchet, and you just tighten it till it's snug. I just forgot to do it. But I've done it now, just because if you just to do that, oil will leak out the bottom. So yeah, I'm gonna pause and go and get the oil, and we're gonna go and fill this car up. And I'm gonna be back any second now. Right guys, I have put some rag around there just to make sure I don't spill any oil. You've got to be careful there. There you go. Just don't pour too far. When you pull it sideways, you notice it doesn't go in any, any waves at all. When it goes in waves, guys, it usually, it usually makes a mess. It's going in smoothly. Now that's all our 5.5 litres put in. I did two, I did one previous to this, so I just was practicing on that first slot. I put my first three litres and then the two and a half here. Here you go, you just tighten it up. So just make sure it's all snug. Oops. <laughs> nearly. Had an accident there, nearly. There you go. Now we can safely start our engine. Check the dipstick here, just make sure it's oil in it. Hard to see with our new oil. It, it's. I think it's filled to the top, just to safely say. Oops, I nearly put it in the wrong way. There you go. It's our dipstick back in. Now I'm going to pause and go and get the key, and we're going to drop this to the ground. Then we can say that we can safely now start this engine because there's oil in it. Also, just. To, just to refresh you remember I did tighten the bottom bolt up snugged it down just to make sure it didn't go loose now let's check underneath for leaks make sure there isn't any which I can't see any visible leaks coming from anything and then we can just maybe now they go down there check down there if you want down later on down the road see I'm gonna pause here and we're gonna go and start the old engine up and I'm gonna pause here Right guys, I've got, I've just dropped the car down myself. I've just got the jack stands off. 
Cars back to the ground. Let's go and start this old five cylinder engine up. So I'm gonna go and get the keys now and I'm gonna start it. Right guys, let's start up this five cylinder engine. Let's fire this thing up. <laughs> With all its new oil in it. Start it up. Get the oil lights off. Checking. I'm gonna pause here. Just make. I'm gonna pause it. Right, guys. Just to check this. Just before you start. Just an exercise. If I nearly forgot to do this. Check the dipstick level. Right. Clean the old dipstick. Yeah. Put that back in. Just make it so it goes in the correct way. Wait a sec. Now, I'm going to have to stand you guys here before I do this. So just take the stick out. It's hard to see. Oh, I'll rub it off now. Do that again. Get it in the correct way. That's full. Let's fill to the top. Now, just to say, we can safely start our engine. It's a little bit over just because it's tilted down. But I think, safe to say, this is definitely safe to start. Alright, let's start her up. To start the old car. So all... That's what we've all been waiting for, guys. Engine start. And check for oil lights when you start up. That sounds great. There's no oil lights, that's good. Check, check in the corner for oil lights. Make sure that thing gets the pressure. So yeah, I'm gonna pause until this thing warms up. That sounds good. Yeah, I'm gonna pause here. Yeah. yeah guys, you don't seem to be seeing any oil warning lights, which is good here. We've been running for a few minutes. It seems good. So safe to say, we've got oil. Got no messages in the corner. You have zero messages because if you had no oil pressure, it will come up down there. No oil pressure. If you had no oil on this car, it would come up down there and tell you. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to pause until this thing's warmed up. So, I'm going to pause here. Right, guys, this engine sounds quieter than it used to. It's nice and quiet, which is good when you rev it up. Sounds alright, it does. Can you find it? I'm not gonna really rev it eyes, I don't want to damage the engine, so I'm not gonna rev eye. It's not good to rev eye when you're standing still. So yeah, it's running good. It's ticking over at a good rev. It's ticking over at dead on a thousand RPM. That's good. So yeah, I'm gonna pause here. Right guys, we're gonna end off this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you didn't notice, I do have a sign called Joseph Cars, made by Dynamite Signs. So he says Volvo Specialist, so go subscribe to me on Instagram and Twitter, it's Joseph Cars, and subscribe to me on YouTube. And so right guys, we're going to go and end this video, so please give this video a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to the channel, so you don't miss any more content like this, and have a nice day.